So welcome to the team call and it's a really, really exciting team call. I know a lot of you guys um, who have been in the team a little while are aware that it was the virtual summit this week and our summit, for those of you guys who are new, is our huge annual event. It is usually in the States. It was in Indianapolis last year and I went there for the first time and it was <clears throat> one of the most emotive kind of atmospheric experiences of my whole entire life and if I really think about where my like passion and love you know if I didn't love it before came from it's from being there live at that event and I remember even when I was talking to UK corporate I was like I'm not sure whether I'll go to summit I'm just not sure and they were like you have to go like you have to go this needs to be a non-negotiable for your business and I'm actually an introverted extrovert so you put me in like a massive crowd uh, without um, a sip of alcohol and I actually hate it. So for me, that was quite overwhelming. Um, and it was just incredible. 20,000 people in a stadium. We had Rachel Hollis as a keynote speaker. She wrote Girl Wash Your Face. Um, it, just some of the most incredible achievements and recognition. And really that is, you know, a lot to do with what this is about, right? You're on a health and fitness journey. Um, we are a global community and it's really an opportunity for us to come together as a global team. And obviously we are, um, I'm British and we have a very kind of international team. So it's absolutely awesome to be able to get to those events. And um, certainly the girls that were at Summit last year all of them that came from my team are still in my team. So that should be a real indication to you of the power and importance of getting to those events for your business. And not only that, the ability to actually really build a connection with people that you remotely work with, right? Um, so I'm going to cover off quite a few announcements. Summit is where... Um, you know, we get the huge launches for the year, we get the announcements, we get the recognition for everybody that's done really well through the year. And so there was a lot of information. And I know for you guys trying to keep up with a virtual summit, a lot of you weren't in the company when summit took place last year. And so for you, that's, I can completely appreciate that's been difficult because obviously if we're in a physical location and we've got meetings to get to, then we're all on it and we're getting the information. This has been sort of in Zoom calls that I've obviously watched quite a few of the team members we've been doing sort of Zoom calls, which has been awesome actually. It's been cool for the community to actually do them like that so that we could all catch the training together and put little comments in the box. So it's been really fun and there've been some amazing, so at the end of summit, there is the most enormous super workout, like the biggest workout you could possibly imagine. So last year we closed, I think, 10 blocks in Indianapolis. We had to work out at 6 a.m. They close it all down and there are 20,000 people working out to the same workout. And I can tell you the atmosphere of that, like even though I was working out, it might have been because I was slightly hungover, but I actually started crying because like the the kind of feeling of having, you know, that many people all coming together with a common interest, you know, you can see the energy of this company and the kinds of people that we have, very high energy, very positive, and just the most uplifting experience possibly of my life over and above my like, wedding and having my son, I would say. So um, I'm just going to share my screen, but I wanted to cover that off before we started. So um, just bear with me one second whilst I get the team call slides up. So if you've got comments as I go through, do please um, just comment. But really today I am going to talk about um, really uh, just your vision, the importance of having a vision, the, the vision that I have for this team. And that was something that Carl was talking about yesterday. He was talking about kind of as a CEO, you know, what's important for a team? Like, how do we all pull together? And it's something that I really want us to focus on over the coming year. And it is something that I can't take responsibility for. I can take responsibility for, you know, creating an ethos in the team and creating kind of an expectation in the team. But ultimately, we can only operate as a fantastic, really cohesive, you know, team that works well and flows if we're all in it and we all kind of buy into that vision and we all hold each other equally responsible for upholding that. And so I wanted to share that today. But before I do, um, I'm just going to go and, and just cover off a few of the announcements. So for those of you guys who are brand new, I'm afraid for you, it is the week of the year where we get all the announcements. So if you feel slightly like it's a lot of info, don't worry. It's a lot of info for everybody. And I don't expect you kind of newer girls to take all of this in. Please don't worry. This will be stuff that I'll feed out as the year goes on anyway. So um, MBF, um, as we are all aware, I think most of us here are doing MBF. We are having the time of our lives in the coach test group. 
and the customer purchase window opens on the 27th so that's a week tomorrow um, so just make sure for goodness sake that your groups are up and running that you are inviting people that you've got a prep week that you've got a strategy because as we know like with all the boot camp training I've done fail prepare and prepare, prepare to fail if you give yourself a nice two week long lead way leading into that virtual gym or boot camp or whatever you want to call it um we are going to fill those um, kind of boot camps. We're going to make sure everybody wants to get it, that wants to get in can get in and that we haven't left ourselves too short a time frame. And I would say if you want to kind of have people joining my, um, what's now called the coach test group for MBF and you want to have them join as customers coming into that group in Facebook, by all means, feel free to have them in there as well. That's where my customers are going to be going. So it just will be an MBF group. And obviously if I've got coaches that then want to do MBF, I'll be adding them in there. I would strongly advise that you set up your own BOD group. And the reason I advise you to do that is that you can actually track and see how your customers and coaches are doing. Are they doing their workouts? Are they logging them? How are they getting on with their strike shakeology? And therefore, how are they getting on with you know, that accountability? Do you need to step in and help them out a little bit and send them a message or get on a phone, a phone call? Um, and this here is absolutely huge. They announced Team Cup yesterday. <clears throat> it's something that I am obsessed with. Um, last February, so not this February just gone, but in 2019, we, my team in the UK, won it for the whole of the UK. And at Summit last year, we this is the front row, this is before the stadium had filled up. <clears throat> I got to walk across the stage with the union flag. Ashley Molstad, um, she's a top coach in the network. Her team won the whole team cup and it was pretty incredible. But more than anything behind that, obviously that recognition was lovely and that was amazing. And I'll never forget that feeling of being able to represent the whole of the UK like that. But more importantly, it really helped us propel our businesses. Team cup is where you get together in teams of five you have max two diamonds or above in your team. And this can be with anybody in this team. It could be with a coach that you know in another team and you team together. And it, you don't have to be really experienced. You don't have to have been in the, in the network very long at all. You just you know reach out to a few people and say, hey, do you want to do a team cup team? And you, you then register at that teambeachbodycup.com. And when you register, you're going to receive three promotion codes for $10 or £10 off any challenge or completion pack priced at $140 or above, which is pretty awesome in itself. But what that does is really get you focusing on what I'm going to be talking about today, teamwork. Like each person is responsible for their input and that team leader is going to um, have instructions on how to lead calls. Certainly when we won, all we had was like a messenger chat thread and we were like, right, okay, how many people are we going to connect with today? How's this going to work? You know, should we get on a call? Should we do a power hour? So really just being creative and making it fun and kind of all competing against each other. And in that month, I doubled the number of people that I had ever helped, like ever. And one of the girls in my team went diamond in that month. So it is the most phenomenal way to bring momentum into your business, not only for that month, because this business is not about, hey, I helped that person, bang, done. That's not how this business works. We help somebody and we continue to help them. We continue to help them see the value. They may then become coaches in time if they see the value of, you know, getting the results. And that's really going to bring momentum into your business. So I really want you to think about when you register for that, not that just it's a one month thing, that could make or break the trajectory for your whole entire yeah. And that's what I saw. My business blew up in that February and come April, I had gone from diamond to three star diamond. And that was made in the February because I went all in and I said, right, I'm going to double everything. It is one month and pedal to the metal. I'm going to do it. And yeah, I was tired, but it was one of the most amazing things to see our team come out on top and see the achievements that we all had. So really think about that and just get your team registered. I've put a photo in the team page. So once you've registered your team, just put it in the comments. And then I wanted to briefly or as briefly as I can cover off the things from Summit that came out, the launches. So this is really exciting. I know we have a lot of mummies in the team. Um, we have a lot of people who've got mummy friends and pre and postnatal bar blend is coming to Beachbody On Demand in August, which means that if you've got people who have just had a baby or about to have a baby and they say, oh, Beachbody doesn't really have any programs that I can do, we do have a pre and postnatal program incidentally, but this is gonna be a bar um, specific 
pre and post natal one, which I think is amazing. Like when I was pregnant with Arthur, I would have loved to have had like something like bar. So this is going to be a real appeal for anybody who's got friends who are like, I can't do anything because I'm pregnant and I feel like I can't, you know, so it should be really helpful. And this is something I am over the moon about. When I um, was in Marbella in September last year, I had a meeting with Carl and he said like, if there was anything in this business that you would like to see Beachbody bring, what would it be? And I said, you need to bring in a program which focuses on mindset and physical fitness. I said, right now, you just have a platform that's physical fitness, nutrition, and yes, as coaches, we work on our mindset because that's something that we advocate and we teach within our teams, personal development, but you really need something to tie that in. Now, it's not kind of, you know, a total program with the physical fitness that I'd kind of imagined it, but I love to see this. There's a whole relaxation and meditation section that's gonna be added to Beachbody On Demand, and for those of you guys that have been coaches for a while, um, you know, a lot of you guys have come into this because you felt stressed or you felt like you're looking for something more or, you know, you've just needed something in your life. I know a lot of you have seen and felt the value of doing meditation, which is something I talk about in my boot camps. It's something that I hold you guys to account on and I run challenges on because it's brought so much to my life and I know it's bringing a lot to yours. So that's really exciting. In September for the US and Canada, there is pumpkin spice again. They're releasing that. I haven't had any confirmation, guys, for the UK whether or not we're going to get it. I can only assume that since we haven't had confirmation, we aren't going to get it. But obviously, if I hear anything else, I'll let you know. And then in October, we have the most incredible program launching, which I am so excited about. I know we have a lot of runners here. There's a program coming out in October called 30 Day Breakaway. And it is a program which combines kind of strength training um cardio exercise to gear you up for a 5k run and it also has like um runs that you can do so you put the earphones in and it advises you how to do that kind of training where you're doing sprints and then um slower runs to really get your pace up um which is so exciting i'm definitely going to do that one and then in november there will be the um that is the oh i forgot the name of it it is um peppermint mocha peppermint mocha I love that. And I got asked in Arizona when I was there if we had a choice, which I would like to see this year. And I said peppermint mocha. So I'm hopeful that we'll get it in November for the UK, but I haven't had anything. So I will find out and let you guys know. And this was the launch. I think we were all literally wetting ourselves over. Joey, I think, is on the call. And she was literally like almost banging down the Zoom call with this because she's she literally has got a girl crush on, um, on Autumn. And it's just on ATD Obsession. But Autumn is releasing a program called nine week control freak and it is going to be a program which integrates the nutrition it's going to be hardcore it's going to be 30 minute hardcore workouts a day and she is looking absolutely ripped so if you're a girl that's like an ex-athlete likes to be pushed hard that kind of thing or just isn't an ex-athlete but likes to be pushed hard this is going to be an amazing program so i'm super excited and the final thing which it's one of the things I'm most excited about is, oh, I'm trying to let you guys see this, the collagen launch for the UK on the 4th of August. That's something that we put into our superfoods um, and just gives us really plump skin, amazing hair, nails. I cannot wait for that to come. So there were quite a few announcements there. Summit. So this like literally is $130 or a hundred, yeah, $130. I think for us in the UK, it comes out as 107 pounds. Um, until the end of the day today. If you don't purchase your ticket today and you intend to go to Summit, then I think it goes up to over $200, although I don't have the exact price. If you think you might go, it's really in your interest to register now. Um, so the Summit, um, already we have got all of these people registered um, to go. Arthur, I'm on a call, darling. Sorry, it's my son. Um, so me, Marty, Jackie, Joey, Stephanie, Imogen, Elaine, Zainab, Joe, um, Bulldog, Ginny, Charlotte, and Tasha have already purchased their tickets. When I was there last year, there were literally five of us in total. So to see this is honestly like it brings tears to my eyes. And I just want you guys to know that, you know, if you're in this business for the long haul, this is going to be you, right? You might just be going as you next year, but the year after that, you may well be taking three or four or who knows, like 10 people with you. And, and this is just like skimming the surface. There'll be lots more girls from our team that come. So if you're thinking about it or you want more details, then definitely let me know. Um, 
And then I'm going to move on to the book of the week. So this is a book that I have read quite a few times. It's a book that I mentioned last week, um, but it is incredible. And I've been listening to it more and more this week. And I'm just thinking, do you know what? The girls really need to listen to this. It's, it's a guy who was a property mogul in the States. He's, I think he still is. Um, and he is incredibly successful. And he basically calls us out on a lot of our BS, a lot of our self-limiting beliefs. And he basically tells us to just go for it. You've got one life. That's kind of the long and short of it. But he has some amazing kind of techniques on, um, you know, on how to do that. So that book is absolutely incredible. And then the tracker prize. So you guys, um, every single week, for those of you guys that are new, I post in the team page a visual and I say, share your tracker. That's your business activity tracker. Um, and really that's just so that I can get an indication of how you're doing with building a sustainable long-term business and building that consistency because your business will be built um, in those consistencies that you create every single day. And if you aren't completing that tracker every single day, even, you know, like I always say to my new coaches, the sooner you can get into doing it, the sooner you're going to see consistent, reliable success. Um, and that's why I say like now, if you want a one-on-one -on -one call with me and you are beyond a month into the team, then you need to um, complete the tracker. And then there is a giveaway. So for one person here, they get 15 pounds or $15. And the winner this week is Marta. So Marta is in Canada. She's not on the call today. Um, but I do that weekly. I do a um, raffle roll before and then just say who the winner is and then of course all of those girls who had submitted their tracker no matter where they are in the business and um, they get a one-on-one -on -one call with me so really really fundamental it's kind of tough love but it's really doing you a favor to ensure that you are achieving you know your goals and you're seeing that consistency with the results just one second guys Arthur I need you to come out because I'm trying to do my call and I can't find the big guy Sorry, that was really quite distracting. My son was jumping on the bed and trying to squash the dog at the same time. Um, so, <laughs> moving on. We have, well, this is an early announcement, but I just got a little bit too excited. Becca came into the business, um, what, mid-May, and she will be officially an Emerald Coach on Thursday. That means that she's going to get um, a lot more kind of one-on-one -on -one help from me. She'll be invited into the Level Up Mentorship that I will be running from August, beginning of August. I do one a month, and that's really an opportunity for you guys to level up. For me to really teach you the fundamentals of, right, let's do this thing, building a business that's sustainable, that's gonna help you build a team and residual income, if indeed that's what you decide you want to do. And this girl, I will just say, is she blows me away. Like She has been consistent since day one one i don't think there's a day that she hasn't shown up and like every time i look on her social media she's got a post up there she's got her workouts in there she's doing her personal development she posts in my boot camps every day and and honestly it's just amazing to watch somebody like this and i know without question becca will be successful long term because she is just doing those consistent things she does her tracker she submits it every week she's an emerald coach she's she is building a foundation for her business that is not going to be um, easily disrupted, i.e. she will have a strong business because she's building those strong fundamentals right now, which means that that's going to serve her for the rest of her coach business, no matter you know what she decides she wants to do. So well done, Becca. I'm super proud of you. Um, and she's working full-time as a veterinary nurse as well. So closest to Diamond, and this is really as a result of that Level Up mentorship. Um, we have, hold on, somebody said something in the comments. I just want to make sure I've seen them. Um, Oh, there are so many comments. I can't see all of them. Um, well done, Becca. Yeah, you've got a lot of well done. So that's awesome. So closest to Diamond, we have Ginny. I think she needs one more coach and um, two emeralds. She's got half an emerald on one side. So she's, for those of you guys who are new, please don't worry. But that's how Diamond looks. Um, but she, I had diamond dates at the end of this month and I'm sure she's going to achieve that. Marty, um, is very, very close as well as is Lisa. Marty and Lisa have been in my business for a little while and Tasha, um, they were all at summit with me last year. So that should really show you guys, right. Okay. This is how I make my business work for me. It's not just a jolly. Um, Charlotte is really close and Imogen is really close and they're all in my level up mentorship. So I'm super proud of them. Um, the diamond retreat, I know the girls in my level up mentorship are aware of this, but I booked the accommodation, which is in Nottinghamshire. The reason why it's in Nottinghamshire is that for us in the UK, it was the most central to every single postcode of those girls that I currently have on my radar that may well be on there. Um, 
And as I said last week, and I'll say again, if you aren't even emerald yet, you have until the 10th of September to go diamond. You have plenty of time. So if you have your sights on this, get those blinders on, get that tracker done, get yourself to emerald and beyond. And let's do this because it is so exciting. And for me, I know when I kind of decided that I was going to go for diamond in a push group with my global team, my uplines American, um, I just, it was a decision. It was a decision in my head that nothing and no one was going to stop me hitting diamond on that date. And I have my blinders on. There was nothing that was going to throw me off. That vision was so strong. And I hit it on the date that I said I was going to hit. In fact, I think I hit it three days early. So this is within your reach, all of you. This is all mindset. And this is why as new coaches, I say to you, personal development every single day. Your, the power of your mind will be indicative of the success that you see. Um, success starters, just going to show you guys quickly. So um, we have Becca in month one, Georgia month one, Gail month one, Zainab month one one and Joe month one um, and currently month two Haley, Shannon, Sam and Ginny and I know a lot of you are gunning to be a success staff this month which is achieving success club three of your first six months as a coach which really shows the trajectory of your business and how likely you are to see success long term so it's a really good measure um, and I'm super proud of those girls and success club. So again, for those of you guys that are new for each person that enrolls, um, a coach or um, a customer with a challenge pack, you get two success club points. And I am literally over the moon to see this. Um, success club board. So I'm in at 23. Donna hit success club today. Um, we have Nisha at four, Haley at four, Elfie at four, and Zainab at four. So they just need to help one more person to hit success club and get this beautiful tie dye t shirt. Um, I have all of your t shirts for June, literally baggaged up. They're going to the post office tomorrow. It took a while for them to print them. So they are on their way just whilst I'm on that. And Success Club 2 and still plenty of time. You've still got what, is it 11 days in July? I think so. 11 more days, 31, I mean. Um, Haley, Marta, Emma, Stephanie, Heather, Julie, Nina, Shannon, Imogen, Ginny, Este, Monique, Gemma and Becca. There's so many of you guys on this board already. And even if you're not on here, like I can tell you that if you get your mind in the game and you decide you're gonna execute that business activity tracker and decide you're gonna hit Success Club, i.e. helping three people in one month, you can do it easily in 11 days. It is all mindset. So call yourself out on any of that BS that you have, any of those excuses. Like I don't have the energy. I don't have time. You do. It depends how much you want it. So I want to talk about team vision. And this, as I said, at the opening of the call was something that Carl shared yesterday. And Carl, um, most of you guys know, have been in my team for a while. I'm literally obsessed with him. He is the CEO of our company. He is one of the most inspirational people that I have ever come across. When I visited the headquarters in Santa Monica in February, literally when he parks his car, he gets out of the car, he goes down a side door and we, we had a tour of the headquarters, which incidentally is insane. Like I want to work there. It's incredible. The walls of the corridor, he's literally taken a, like a whiteboard marker and he's written inspirational quotes all the way along the corridor into his office. And he is just he's just so inspiring. And he spoke about team vision and about the fundamental importance of you guys understanding how you fit into this. And I really want to talk about that today because I really want this to be a team effort. That team page is not just my page. It is your page. It is our page. We all own it. So interact, comment, like, congratulate people. Our team cannot have that ethos of I'm all in. I'm positive. I'm going to support my peers. I'm going to celebrate them. If when we celebrate somebody, then two people comment on it and say, well done or say welcome. Like lean in that team page is your ethos. It is your community. And I appreciate some of you guys work full time, but I can promise you when I started this business and I had three jobs and I had a son in nursery two mornings a week, I always congratulated people on that page. I was always checking in. I always wanted to see how everybody was doing. So make it your responsibility now. Pin the group, whatever it takes, like check the posts because this is your future. And I can promise you, if you lean into this team, you will see success. 
get into the center of the bed and you will be successful with the community. Sit on the edge and you're going to fall out. And that's something that a coach shared. I can't remember who it was about two months ago. And I was like, she is so right. If you are in that ethos and you are in there and you are celebrating everybody and you are shouting them out and you are taking that responsibility that, do you know what? This is our team page. This isn't my page. Yes, I lead the team. Yes, I have people I want to shout out because that's what I love about this. I don't want to just talk about me. I want to talk about you. I want to celebrate you. And I want you to celebrate your people when they come in. So please, please do that. Please share that encouragement, that collaboration, that celebration. And I can promise you when you're at summit next year and you meet with all these people, it's going to be so wonderful because we're all going to be supporting one another. And that's what this is about. It's not about oh, I, well, I've done my thing and I've helped two people today and I've not checked in on the team page and I've not liked or commented or congratulated. That's not team. That's you doing your own thing and then being part of a team that's convenient for you. You know, like think about it. That team ethos is going to be what drives you to success. I can promise you. And when I went to, to, to go diamond, I lent into that American upline team as hard as you can imagine. I couldn't make the team calls. I still made sure I caught the recordings. I still made sure actually that even if it was at 1 a.m. sometimes, I made the team calls. But when there were posts going up there, I was congratulating everyone. When I was in that diamond push group, I was in there like congratulating people. You know, even if I hadn't hit my goals and I can promise you me being in that energy of wanting to congratulate and wanting to be part of that team, that's what propelled me to diamond. That's what propelled me to three star because that's what I want to harness in my own team. Okay. And I want you guys to see kind of how I see this finishing because I am one, like I can say a thousand percent confident that I have more than 10 incredible leaders in my team right now. You're all there. You are in this team because this is the UK top team, right? You are the caliber of somebody that can do what I do. And don't look at me and think that, well, it's okay for Izzy because of X, Y, and Z. Like I built this on my mum passing away, working three jobs with my son in nursery two mornings a week. I was going through so much SHIT, but I decided that I was going to do this and I was going to build a future for my family and I was going to do it as a team. So call yourself out on that stuff. Like I don't want to hear it. If you're serious about your business and you want this stuff, get after it because you can do it. So my vision for this team is that we're a 10 star team, 10 diamonds, 10 leaders. That's what it means for you guys who are new. We have leaders in this team. And the reason that I want that for this team is that I want us to make as broad an impact as we can on other people's lives. And we can't do that if we're just helping customers. If we just help customers, they can't help other people. They're just customers. If we help coaches and we help, help train them, and you know, goodness, you might not be that confident yet, but they can come into the team page, they can get my training. We can help them help others. And can you imagine how many thousands of women globally we are gonna impact and help? That's the vision I have for this team. And that's the capability I know we have, but I'll tell you, and this is what Carl said yesterday, step up and take action. Yeah. If you're telling yourself that it doesn't matter today because something came up or do you know what? You're, you're letting yourself off like your unbelievable success. Every single one of you has the ability to see that success, but you have to learn to call yourself out on those stories you tell yourself. I actually wrote a, a story about it earlier. And you know, I have them too, right? We all have them. We all have these stories we tell ourselves. We all say, well, it doesn't matter today because of X, Y, and Z. And if you've listened to um, or read The Slight Edge, he talks about how the, the success and failure curve is almost, um, you, you almost can't see it. You can't see whether you're going up or down, but with one decision that you make on every single day, like I, whether or not I get out of bed on my alarm, that is one set step closer to either failure or success. So next time the alarm goes off and you go, I'm going to take another 10 minutes sleep, just to say to yourself, does that push me further towards my goal or does it push me further away? And that's all it is. It's not big decisions. It's those slight edge, small decisions that you decide to make that are going to define whether or not you have this most unbelievable success. And if this isn't what you want, that doesn't matter to me either. There are people in this community who don't want this and that's okay. I want you guys to feel included and I want you to know that you're really important to me as well. That this community is a like something I'm unbelievably passionate about. Okay. And you're all important to me. Okay. So these are just some words that I thought about for the team, like celebration. Let's celebrate each other. Let's collaborate. You know, the reason why I went diamond um, and I've seen such success in my business is because I reached out to people 
in the States. Like I didn't have any UK coaches. I reached out to a girl in the States. If you saw my story on Monday, you'll see. Um, and I talk about Claire who, who really sadly lost her dad as well. She was in the States and she was eight hours ahead of me. And I was in this diamond group with loads of Americans. And I thought, do you know what, if I'm going to do this, I have to push for someone and I need someone to, who is going after the same things, who's going to run for their goals. So I'm going to get over myself and I'm going to find someone who's like me, who's going to run with me. And I ran with Claire and Claire and I set up this team page. And if it wasn't for Claire and it wasn't for that relationship, I would not be where I am today. So I want you guys to take responsibility, kind of get over yourself. Like if you're nervous, stuff it. If you want to do this business and you really want to have fun, you're going to collaborate with other people. I don't want to just be the one telling you guys to collaborate. I want to see it happen. Come up with ideas. You know, Claire and I came up with ideas of how to run a sneak peek, which is the format I still use today. Be your own leader. Yeah. If that's what you want, because that is where you're going to see the success. I didn't ask my upline anything. I got on calls with her rarely. She was in the States. I think I've had one one-on-one -on -one with her in my life. I worked it all out. And that's why I'm where I am today. And that's why I'm so passionate about what I do because it was just little me who had no idea what I was doing, but I worked it out. Okay. So if I can work it out and you can get this training, I can promise you, you are capable of so much more than I'm even capable of. Support, encouragement, teamwork, and we are better together. And you know, that's really, really important to me because as I said, if we don't have that, we don't have that working together piece where we all pull together and we all take responsibility for this team, we are only ever gonna go so far. And I don't wanna be the one that's always posting in that page, but I'm, I'm super excited. I'm so excited for Summit already. Like I wish it was here yesterday. And I know like lots of you are like already wetting yourselves over Summit. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I wanted to share that vision. I wanted to share it because I want you guys to know that you're all really important to me. Every single person here is important to me. And I want that to be the ethos that we breed into this team. Like whether or not it's somebody you've brought in, that is our ethos. Um, has anyone got any questions? I wasn't sure if anything's gone in the chat. Um, yeah. But yeah, I got a bit passionate there, but it's important you guys see that. Got any um, I was wondering about Summit. Yeah. Um, I think I wrote a comment like at the very beginning of the chat. Oh, okay. I can't, I'm, there's so many comments. I, can't um, I was just wondering um, if you qualify for the free ticket, um, like after getting the three, Success Club three months of your first six months, if I was to buy a ticket now and then qualified for that in the future, I whatever, think they refund, refund it. it. Yeah, I okay. think they refund it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know because so I, I was just wondering. If... It's a good question. I'll find out for you once this is, but I'm almost certain that's the case. When I qualified, I was so far away from summit that I didn't, I hadn't need to, needed to buy mine because I like, qualified in the July, which was when the summit was going on. So that's when it was announced. Okay. So I'll, I'll find out for you guys, but really good question. Yeah. Really Thank good you. question. I'll find out for you. Yeah. Have I stunned everyone into silence? Possibly. <laughs> oh dear Easy. you guys that are new that last piece like don't you're not there yet okay but the vision piece is really important so don't be overwhelmed Easy. Um, yes who's you that? know how we're in a, it's me <laughs> you know how we're in a team yes we've made a team so when we get that 10 pound off voucher for the f three 10 pound off vouchers is that per every person in the team gets three no, ten pound off clear. it's not clear on the faqs right let me go back and look because i took that from the top part of the faqs so i'll have a look but if in doubt on anything the quicker we can all learn to look at the faqs on coach office but i'll check i'll check because i'm the team leader for that so i'll definitely go check oh. with you and i'll let you know no that's fine thank you yeah i was thinking that i was just talking about it um because i really it is, and you get you literally get an mbf for 150 quid <laughs> It should be for everyone. It wouldn't really be fair if it was just the team leader. I think that wouldn't be really be fair. So I should think it's for everybody, but I'll check. But yeah, like that team cup is the, is the perfect time to say to yourself, right, I'm going to collaborate with some people in the team. I'm just going to reach out to a few people. Um, that's what I did for team cup the first time. And, that, and it was just so much fun to run with girls. There was a girl who wasn't even in our team, Menina, who incidentally is on the UK elite board now, but she's lovely. Um, and she actually reached out to me and it was really cool to run with some other people. Um, is 
anyone got any other questions? Meg, are you excited about the running program? It's probably not far enough for you. I am so excited for the running oh, okay. program. I think you'll love it. I, I was thinking actually, this is just like as an aside, um, I was thinking as a team and that comes out, what we could do if people, if some of you guys are, you won't all be up for it, but we could do like a 10K charity run and we could use that as the training and we could support, yeah. you know, we wouldn't have to support the same charity, but I thought it'd be a really cool team thing to all do that and yeah, then showcase it on our social media. I hate running, but I'll, I'll do that. that. I'll do oh that. my God, I hate running. Literally, I've do done one five k in my life. That's it. That's good. Yeah. That's an all good start. You hate running, you start. <laughs> I hated running, and hate it. And then now I've done like a ten k and a half marathon. So don't worry, you'll, be, you'll get there. I'll get there. I hate I it. definitely that would be a really fun thing because I'd love to do something like that. And I just yeah. think that would show our team like so like in such a good light as well. Like if yeah. we start, yeah, like, it would. And like you could say like oh, I absolutely hate running, but I'm doing this for a good cause. I'm doing it to push myself. And if yeah. I was never doing these home workouts, I would never go out for a run. Yeah. So it's like yeah. oh, I can see it now. Don't worry, yeah. I'll champion everybody. Come on, I'll be there. come on, hurry up. <laughs> I love it. Move it! Yeah. Now! <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. Um, so, what was I going to say? Um, and, and I thought the thing that would be great about that when it comes around, I haven't got to that yet because I'm trying to get and like taking all the other info from Summit. We can just support whichever charity we feel we want to support. So we wouldn't have to all support the same one. Because I'm sure we've got like we immediately think of, oh, I'd want to run for X charity. So it'd just be quite nice to be able to do that. Um, you know, with our like friends and family supporting us individually, but kind of doing it as a team. And I haven't worked out whether we would do separate 10Ks or maybe some of us could come together and do the same one. But yeah, it's just have it on your radar potentially. Mm -hmm. I might get well, my, get Chai to join. If I'm doing it, I definitely want to do it for someone else. I hate it. Hey, yeah, I need someone I'll do it. Me, me too. I'll be there. Don't worry. Okay. Elastic. Together would be amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. Alone. We'll find it all together. Together. Us in the UK like and then UK running yeah. together. Yeah. yeah. It's such it a good is. excuse Canadian for everybody American. to get together. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it would. Yeah. It would be such a good like reason for everybody.